In this video, I'm going to show you the best base defensive concept in the game. It's great against any formation, any set. Doesn't matter what they run. If you're looking for something to call that is going to be fairly consistent, regardless of the player you're playing, the caliber of player, you want something simple. To me, this is the video for you. Now, if you're new to the channel, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. It just allows you to stay up to date on the latest tips and tricks that we release every single day. Today, we're talking about the 46 defense. We're going to be focusing in on the 3-3-5 wide, but I'm going to be giving you a different coverage than maybe you're uh, thinking that I'm going to give you. I'm not going to be talking about Mike Blitz 3 today. We're going to be talking about a different concept uh, that I actually like better than Mike Blitz 3, again, because of the way the defense is going to adapt to the routes, to the formation, and allow you a lot of flexibility with your user based on some of the adjustments we're going to put on the field. So uh, if you want to get the full uh, nickel 335 wide 46 defense, I've got the 335, the 335 wide. We've got some nickel normal stuff in the Patreon as well. We've got dollar 326. I've got big nickel. Um, we're working on some 46 bear stuff as well under the hood. But the bottom line is if you want to learn this entire defensive strategy, go ahead and join the Patreon. The Patreon is cheap. Uh, 10 bucks a month gets you access to everything. You get access to all of that. Most ebooks are 30 bucks. We give you the Patreon for 10 and you get access to every Madden 22 ebook I've released. So I've released 13 offensive, defensive ebooks throughout the course of the year. A lot of updates to those as the years have gone on. Things have changed throughout the year. So if you want to learn all that stuff again, head down to the description, click the link, join the Patreon. But we're talking today about 335 wide. And we got the Cover 4 Show 2 in our audibles. That's the play we're going to be talking about. Really quickly, why do you want to come out in 335 normal? Two reasons. The first one is you want to come out in 335 normal because it allows you to substitute safeties into the middle linebacker position. So as you see right here, I've got linebackers at defensive end. I've got a defensive tackle or defensive end at the nose tackle. And then I've got safeties all across the board here. Okay. Now, the other reason why, and I think even more important, is because whenever you audible down to 335 wide from 335 normal, you're gonna be able to um, you're you're gonna be able to cross man your linebacker. So your linebacker on the right side of the screen, you can cross man on the left side receivers. The linebacker on the left side of the screen, you can cross man on the right side of the receivers. To me, that is a really really big advantage to the defense. And so that's one of the other reasons why I like to do this. Now, um, to illustrate this, we're just going to give you this defense. We're going to call random formations and explain what we would do against kind of a little bit of everything. Now, the cover four show two is cover four quarters, which is a matching style, a pattern match style of defense. Really important. I want to say this before we go any further. If you want to really get a deep dive into match defense, I'm going to put a playlist at the end that you can check out. But the best thing that you could do if you want to learn match, I go super in depth and we update our match stuff very, very regularly in the uh, Patreon. So almost every week there's a new video talking about how we can improve our, our defense. So match is kind of something that I've really tried to dive deep into and really learn the principles of because I think that it's the best style of defense for the way pretty much anybody plays. So if you want to check all that out, again, that's in the description. Let's, let's talk about this. So here's your adjustments that you want to do. So you see here, what you want to do first is you always want to move this guy just a few steps. That's going to make it so that he typically is not going to uh, move whenever you audible. But then you're going to audible down to cover four show two. Now, almost every single time, what I would recommend is to go ahead and press and then manually back off your outside cornerbacks, as you can see. And then you're going to take the, uh, you're going to crash your line out a couple times. I like to spread my D line. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to take our nose tackle or our defensive end on the right side of the screen. That's up to you, whichever one you want. And we're going to put them on a bluff blitz and then we're going to blitz our user. So you see the defense looks like this. And then lastly, we are going to man up the linebacker against whoever we think the problem receiver is. It could be the fullback in this case. It could be the slot. It could be the outside receiver. Whoever you want to manually take away with that man up, do it. Other than that, you're just going to lurk over the middle of the field, look for a crosser, something underneath like there to circle, and you're going to pretty much bag almost everything that they're going to do. Let me show you another formation. Here's pistol ace. Okay, Same thing. Back these guys off. That's going to help with the match. Okay. In this example, we might want to shift our D-line this direction. 
okay? And then if we did something like that, we're still dropping the three rec. We want to drop the three rec. Um, and two by two doesn't matter as much, but we want to drop the three rec opposite side of the running back or to the trips, okay? Uh, and then lastly here, I might take, I might say, you know who I want to take away? I want to take away the tight end on the back side, or I want to take away the running back because those are very popular people they're going to throw to. So let's say they go to just a standard passing concept and take a look at how the coverage plays. It plays very effectively, and again, it adapts to the formation, okay? So that's one of the reasons why I like this so much. Now, if I wanted to send pressure, I could go to Mike Woods 3 and have my blitz set up relatively quickly. As you can see right there, pressure is basically set up, and then as you can see, um, that time they did block somebody, but they're going to have to block somebody to pick it up. Otherwise, I'm going to be just rushing two uh, pretty much every time. We talked about why it really makes a lot of sense to rush two in a previous video. Uh, we talked about why you should, in my opinion, only be rushing either two or five or maybe six at the most uh, people in this game just because of how it works. And then as you see, again, look at the coverage. Just do a really, really, really good job of taking away everything. So that's my base defense. If I wanted something real simple that I could just pick up and go with, this is really easy. And if you want to make it easier on yourself, just crash. You don't have to do the crashing. It does help, but you don't have to. Um, and then I would just recommend manning up that uh, linebacker on you know whoever. Again, could be the running back, could be the tight end, could be the slot. Uh, typically, I don't man him up on any outside receivers. Typically, he's manned up on either one of the two slot receivers, one of the two tight ends, or the running back. Okay, But that's pretty much how I would do it. Again, real simple, audible to cover four show two. Uh, I like to press, but then I like to manually back those guys off. You don't have to, but I like to. Then man that linebacker up on somebody that you think is going to be a problem. And then uh, drop your bluff blitz. Make sure your user is blitzed. That's going to help your pass rush. And then as you'll see here, just have a simple two-man pass rush and you're lurking over the middle of the field. Really what you're looking for is a post or uh, to the tight end, a, a little slant to the slot. Those are the two primary routes you want to look for. So thanks for watching the video all the way through. If you want to learn more about this defense, you want to get this defense, you want to get better at the game, join our Patreon. Our Patreon is literally 10 bucks a month, super cheap for what you get. Like I said, you're going to get access to all of our ebooks. We got 13 offensive and defensive ebooks available for you over at the Patreon membership. We've got, and again, you get them all for one price of 10 bucks. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. So head on down to the description if you want to sign up for the Patreon and click that link and go over and check out some of that stuff.